Welcome back on the channel guys. In this video I'm going to show you how to install the One UI 8 Beta 1 build. All right. In my case I've been running on the test firmware and I'm running the ZYES which is the 6 test firmware. It's not an official beta and I'm going to try to update it right now to the latest just released now on XD8 thread. I'm going to put a link down below. You can check it. So we now have the Z yf1 great work everybody involved but let's pretend that i am running one ui7 and this is the s25 ultra guys so in this matter we're going to be using two apps and i'm going to do this with you directly here on camera and before we start i just want to warn you if you're not able to get on the beta program then there are several ways for you to sideload let's say manually install the beta firmware the best thing though is to just open samsung members application right and if your country is there and yeah it's eligible for you to just join up the beta there's going to be a banner and most probably just clicking down below you're going to find something like one ui beta or beta program whatever that's the best way to do so right because when you sign load the first beta then you need to keep side loading until they release the final build from which i guess you can still go back on the over the air updates okay the warning has been done now we're gonna need two applications as i told you the first one is a popular app uh, this has been used for so many things it's called shizuku this application will allow you to run you know some adb commands directly on your phone and grant some access to apps that will require it so guys i'm gonna show you how to set up shizuku on your phone because this requires something to be done and i'm gonna do this fairly easily first thing is we need to go inside developers option if you don't know how to update developers options that you need to go inside your about phone click the software information and then just hit build number i do believe it was like nine times all right so this is going to enable the developers options now while we're here what i usually do in that case is the following i'm just going to now put my developer options here and down below in a split window i'm going to open shizuku now you're going to understand why so shizuku can start when you just download it from play store by the way it's completely free but you need to pair it usually the way i do this is i connect my phone directly to my pc and of course then i do have usb the bugging enabled this is this thing here which allows me to only run like one simple command from my pc via adb and activate it but now in this video i'm just going to do this directly on the phone because there is also the other option to use the so-called wireless debugging which we can use to pair shizuku with the phone so what i'm going to do i'm going to activate the wireless debugging all right and now guys i'm going to hit here the pairing okay so the pairing process needs you to interact with a notification which is completely fine because you're going to find out why you need to enable notifications for shizuku once you do so you know something's going to appear here it's going to be called searching for pairing service all right now when you click this you can see now my shizuku app is searching so what i need to do right now after of course wireless debugging is enabled and after you know shizuku is now searching for pairing just click on the wireless debugging and then there's going to be something called pair device with pairing code all right and this is important because now i can see the code and the code is 150151 and i'm gonna get this notification here and i have to enter the code 150151 and if the code is correct then you can start the shizuku service right now so you, you might as well also don't want to do the whole split screen but it's good and it's easy for me and right now we can see that still shizuku is not running so i need to press start and it will actually execute the adb command and this thing is going to close after three seconds if not you can close it but now shizuku is running which gets me to the next point this is the second application that we need to use and that one is a paid one but okay it was like one euro two euros something like this it's called the root activity launcher and when it is for a purpose this is developed by zahari wonder so i bought this please buy this it's very cheap and very useful so press install once your phone installs the Root Activity Launcher, we're going to open it. And the moment you open it, we can see that it will request access to Shizuku, which, of course, I'm going to be allowing all the time. Now, that's very important. While we're inside, guys, click here on the search box, all right? And there is something that you need to search for. It's basically 
this thing here, which we'll, you're gonna see, right? Press search components is very important. So this is indeed the software update. And from here, you have several options. You can also try to create a shortcut if you want, right? It's going to just end up as an icon on your home screen or just click here. And this is, by the way, why we do need the Root Activity Launcher. And this is also why we installed Shizuku because the Root Activity Launcher will not work without Shizuku. If you want to try to do this with the Root Activity Launcher without having Shizuku and enable the access, it's going to tell you, sorry, dude, another time. Now, guys, what I did is I downloaded my update, but let's pretend this thing here is the One Year 8 Beta 1, the official one, right? You have to put it in the root of your folder, which means this is just like the root, like you can click here and click main storage and don't put it in any other folder. And I renamed it to update.zip. So once you go back, right, inside the software update, you click just sideload and it's gonna ask you what exactly you wanna sideload. So right now, in my case, um, the root folder is actually storage emulator zero update zip is this is the third option. So I'm going to click OK. And because that's exciting, it's Android 16. And yeah, we have seamless updates. You're going to see what happens right now. So uh, the software update tool, this is, by the way, the standard Samsung software update tool, but we need the root activity launcher to be able to trigger this. It's going to start and it's actually going to try to download and install the firmware and then verify it. And after this, of course, it's everything is correct. Then you're going to be able to launch and enjoy the One UI 8 beta. But again, warning has to be made, guys. If you are part of the beta program or let's say the next day you go and you download from XDA, probably the beta 2 and you still don't have it OTA, this will most probably get you out of the beta program and then you need to keep sideloading those betas until Samsung released the One Year 8 stable. So the thing is, if you're a part of the beta program, just stay there. If you're like me, you don't want to wait or because I even don't have access to the beta program, well, that's one of the options. And it's so cool. Previously, you know, with the older One UI, I had to use my PC and go back inside the, the recovery and then ADB sideload and it was like a similar process by the way but this thing here is just so good because you can do this straight from your phone no PC needed you just need the Shizuku and also the root activity launcher please buy that and in the meantime guys I am installing the ZYF1 again this was released by the uh, XDA guys crazy good work and i really hope that samsung fix some things but nevertheless i'm also waiting for the samsung one ui better tool official hopefully the device is going to be certified and my google wallet is going to be working because it worked for i think one day and then it stopped for some people it does work anyway the thing is the zyes is still buggy now i can live with this i'm daily driving this phone it's not an issue for me that much but i can tell you i tried by mistake something like three times to pay with my phone and it really messed up with the post devices from all the uh, merchants there <laughs> this was really crazy <laughs> nevertheless guys if everything happen correctly your phone should restart and you're gonna see the uh, specific things after an update boom boom you know updating all the apps and you know preparing and stuff like this let me show you all right this is the first section where apparently one year is optimizing your apps and now it's gonna boot the os and then of course there's gonna be also the second element of it now again i need to make the warning one more time guys i'm running on these test firmwares and yeah they're buggy all right let's put it like this i mean they're not really suited for a regular user if you just want to use your phone without any hassles don't just don't go there right this is just for the enthusiasts but the thing is yeah this is the exact same method that you can use to install the one ui 8 beta ROMs. And the thing is, being a better, of course, it's going to still be buggy, right? So now the second element, how do we know? <laughs> oh, geez, I hope my phone is going to respond. How do we know that we performed the update? It's a bit laggy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, guys. Finishing system update, all right? Twice for any reason. So right now I am running the latest uh, One UI 8 uh, test internal firmware. I think it's like like firmware 6 i guess no 7 this is the zyf1 is the 7 one anyway guys this is not so relevant this is going to be still the same process if you just go uh, on xda and download the one ui 8 beta again fifth warning guys 
if you can just go and join the beta program from the members, that's probably the best way to do because yes, it's going to be very easy over the air. This is beta software, all right? And I'm just referring to the official beta programs. The internal test firmwares are, yeah, they're not official. They're still in testing. They have more bugs. So yeah, you see what I mean. The thing is, if you don't want to get into any hassle, don't do this. But if you're not part of the beta program or let's say your country like mine is not part of the Samsung members beta program registration, then you don't really have a lot of options. You just either have to wait for the stable One UI 8 when they push it or yeah, you can go and download this. Your software has been updated. This is just fantastic. Go on XDA. Uh, you're going to see the thread there. There is One UI 8. I think there are two threads. In one you can find test firmwares, in the other only the uh, original Samsung One Year 8 beta firmwares. And again, six or seven warning, guys, don't try out the test firmwares unless you're ready for some pain. People say there is no game without pain, but this is not applicable, I guess, for an average user. Anyway, this is the process. Really hope that you have liked this video. And in the meantime, you can go and revisit my older videos. I'm doing some testing on the ZYE. Yeah, some things are not working, some things are working. There are some new features. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe. VST over and bye.